Hello, dears, and welcome to Al-Husseini Virtual Lab Pathology Talks, Tips, and Practical Tips. Today, I'm going to share with you a very interesting case of rhabdomyosarcoma of the breast. So this is a 15-year-old female patient who presented with a breast mass, and this is an FNA from the lesion itself. As you can see, there is a proliferation of small, round, blue cells. So this is a small, round, blue a cell tumor with a large number of differential diagnosis. Now, there seems to be, I don't know if you can imagine with me here, some tendency perhaps at rosette formation. There is some variation in the tumor size, uh, 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 tumor cell size, but not really much that can be said uh, um, on the basis of the FNA, apart from that this is a small round of blue, blue cell tumor. And the differential diagnosis is vast. Could this be lymphoma? Could this be a poorly differentiated carcinoma? Could this be a rhabdomyosarcoma, Ewing sarcoma, and Ewing sarcoma family of tumors, and so on and so forth. So this is the true cut biopsy from the same case. And as you can see, these are ducts. Uh, from the breast tissue itself and on high power magnification, similar to the cells that um, I've shown you on the FNA. It's a small round of blue cell tumor proliferation, but the cells tend to have some eccentric acidophilic cytoplasm, an excellent clue to the diagnosis. So remember, whenever you have uh, this hyperchromatic nuclei, this is small cell uh, proliferation, but with some tendency in some of the tumor cells to show this acidophilic cytoplasm and here it's like tadpole appearance you have always to think of rhabdomyosarcoma another field where we have here more like sheeting sheet growth of a tumor cells and again the nuclei around uh, uh, hyperchromatic so the differential diagnosis is a small rounded blue cell tumor but then we have the acidophilic cytoplasm and we have really to keep in mind that differential diagnosis of rhabdomyosarcoma. So a large panel of immunohistochemical stains uh, was performed, but really the primary focus was to rule out rhabdomyosarcoma. And this is Desmond. So the tumor cells were positive with Desmond. And this is exactly the acidophilic cytoplasm that we saw on the H and E. It really highlighted it beautifully with uh, uh, Desmond and then myogenin. Remember that myogenin is a nuclear stain and this is a positive nuclear stain that is seen in most of the tumor cells. An excellent clue to the subtype of rhabdomyosarcoma because this would be most consistent with alveolar type rhabdomyosarcoma. Now, another potential pitfall that might be encountered in similar cases is is that the lymph nodes, when dissected at low power magnification, would appear to be negative. But please mind here the expansion of the subcapsular uh, sinus by small round blue cells, which are very reminiscent to lymphocytes. But these uh, 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 cells were positive with Desmond and positive with myogenin, confirming metastatic alveolar rhabdomyosarcoma to the axillary lymph nodes. So remember that alveolar rhabdomyosarcoma can metastasize to the lymph nodes, even those in the breast and in a context of a young female patient with a breast lesion, we have always to think outside the box. It can be carcinoma, but other things might be as important as well, including uh, rhabdomyosarcoma. And remember that in particular, alveolar rhabdomy rhabdomyosarcoma has has the tendency to metastasize to the lymph nodes similar to carcinoma, and this should not really sway out or rule out the diagnosis. So in similar cases, and perhaps in uh, an L, uh, more uh, adult patient, we have to think also that this is uh, uh, potentially a phylloidous tumor or carcinosarcoma so showing some heterologous differentiation. But because of the age, really, rhabdomyosarcoma is the main differential uh, diagnosis on top of the differential diagnosis. So the final diagnosis on this case was alveolar rhabdomyosarcoma. I hope you find this tip useful in your daily practice. Thank you.